Hi all, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. In this video, we will see best budget racing drone build. So for this, I am using uh, ZMR 250 frame and Raystar double, Raystar double 205. 2300 kV motors you can see here double two zero five 2300 kV motor uh, 5 inch propellers uh, these are like cyclone propeller and the main part is like flight controller so I am using this speedy B f405 v3 version so it's a stack so it will come with a 4-in-1 ESC, here you can see 4-in-1 ESC and this is the SPDB board, flight controller board. See, this is the flight controller board and this is the 4-in-1 ESC. So, that's why you don't see any separate ESCs here. So, yeah, this is the flight controller board and I am using this receiver. This is a Radio Master EP1 receiver. Okay, this is the RP1 receiver. ELRS version okay you can use any ESC you like oh you can use any receiver so earlier I was using uh, Flysky now I am using ELRS because I have Radio Master TX16S okay so this is the build uh, build related items and now let's see one by one how to give the connections so first what I will do is I will connect the motor to this ESC 4-in-1 ESC here you can see right so this is the 4-in-1 ESC okay so as per the layout motor layout I will solder these three wires from motor I will connect I will solder here then I will be back after that we will see one by one connection on the flight controller board because it will everything is there on the flight controller board only so so, we will see one by one connection like where to connect the receiver, where to connect the VTX and okay. So, all these things one by one and we can program this using this C type port okay. You can connect the USB C type uh, USB cable and we can program this and also we can um, configure this using mobile app also because this will have a Bluetooth connectivity. So, we can configure this in our phone also that's the best part in this flight controller so you don't need a computer to uh, do some changes in the configuration okay so we'll see that so first i will solder uh, motor related wires here as per the layout okay then i'll be back okay yes i completed the soldering um, these motors on this 4 in 1 ASC so how i solder is like uh, based on this like okay like this so you can see this is the fourth motor and this is the second one and this is the third one okay so first one so uh, even the ESC also same motors so these three pads related to fourth one these three related to the second one these three related to third one so same way I soldered all these motors and I also added the capacitor and uh, this XT60 connector okay. So now I will fix these motors here then we will go to this flight controller board and here I will solder the VTX and receiver here then I will be back. I will show you where I have where I connected my receiver and video transmitter okay I will do that soldering part and I will come back okay so now I have placed the motors as per the layout here and and I also soldered the uh, ELRS receiver here you can see this is the ELRS receiver and camera and video transmitter so you can see how I connected so I will show from a little closer you can see here so as I'm using ELRS so I'm using this so from ELRS receiver to here simple 5 volts and ground and only thing you need to do is you need to shuffle the TX to RX RX to DX that means like from here TX will be connected to RX here 
from here rx will be connected to tx so i'll show you the diagram here so you can see and you can connect you can use any other receiver also like pwm sbus sbus uh, crossfire any other receiver also so if you are using some other receivers the layout or uh, you need to solder to a different pins that is the only difference as i am using elrs receiver so i'll be connecting here so you can see how i connected so it's very simple from the receiver uh, tx will be connected to rx rx will be connected to tx you can see here na the blue wire is uh, receiver rx is connected to tx this wire is connected to tx so like that so power is like 5 volts and ground okay so anyhow i'll show you the diagram here on screen you can follow that and you can solder so i am using this receiver uh, this transmitter this is ts832 uh, video transmitter this is 600 milliwatt uh, video transmitter so this i connected here so this also i show the diagram where i connected so it's very simple here you can see on the flight controller board uh, you can see there is a vtx so yellow wire is connected to vtx and ground and this will be working with 7 volts to 30 volts so i connected this to 9 volts here 9 volts and i connected my fpv camera uh, this one okay so here okay you can see here cam and ground and 5 volts like this i connected so now everything is um, done just we can check it with the battery make sure it is working and we connected everything properly so i'll connect to the battery and see so i'm connecting that's a ts 3s battery i'm connecting now so you can see everything is powered on receiver and transmitter and you can see um, all leds are on so these are the leds for battery power like what percentage of battery is remaining you can see if it is like a four leds it is full okay and uh, this is blinking okay so now everything is proper make sure you check your connections and it is always suggested like uh, instead of connecting directly the battery you can use something like a uh, smoke tester so that will prevent if any uh, shot is there in this board means it will prevent okay so it will save your electronics i strongly suggest use smoke tester okay so that it will stop the power to you know enter into this board and it will stop burning these things okay so please use smoke tester so before i do all these things i don't have the smoke tester i checked with everything with a, a multimeter so make sure everything is proper okay so now what i will do um, i will assemble the remaining frame and i will i will add one 3d printed mount for the camera this fpv camera okay so i can adjust the angle okay so i will add this then i will finish the entire setup then we'll go for uh, configuration okay we'll see that now. okay now so i'll finish this then i'll go to the configuration we'll see that yeah now it is almost ready uh, you can see here it is fully assembled and everything is well organized and you can see there are two parts you can see one is for the fpv camera one is for the action camera so these two are 3d printed so there are a variety of parts available in the thingverse you can download whichever is useful and whichever is compatible with your frame you can uh, print and you can use it so this is the complete assembly now it is ready so we will take this to uh, beta flight and we'll configure this
okay so everything is there fuv camera is there and video transmitter everything is uh, properly you know placed securely placed in this frame okay so now we'll go to beta flight and we'll configure this quadcopter okay so so now let's go to the beta flight and we'll configure this so this is also configured in mobile app that also i'll show okay so for now i'll show in a pc okay